debate day here in the United States, and the stage is set for the Trump-Biden debate tonight. The current Democratic president and his Republican predecessor will face off in Atlanta, Georgia, for the first time and the first of two debates ahead of the November presidential election. The debate can prove critical in their tight rematch race to win the White House in November. The showdown between the two oldest candidates to ever run for the White House also marks the first debate in history between a sitting president and a former one. It is also the earliest general election face-off ever held in the U.S., taking place way before the candidates are either party's official nominee. It's been four years since the rivals last shared a stage, and the stakes couldn't be higher in a race that has, for months, essentially been tied. The stakes of this debate uh, in Atlanta probably cannot be any higher. It may be the most important and widely anticipated deb uh, presidential debate in the United States of all time. The election is razor thin. Uh, our last several elections have been very close. This first debate will air at 9 p.m. local time on CNN Eastern and will broadcast from Atlanta studio without a live audience. Anchors Jake Tapper and Dana Bash will be moderating the debate. U.S. presidential debates often draw tens of millions of viewers. And according to a new poll by AP this time, most U.S. adults plan to watch some element of Thursday's presidential debate. 81-year-old Joe Biden and 78-year-old Donald Trump are the oldest candidates ever to seek the presidency, and viewers are sure to question their cognitive abilities and emotional steadiness. A strong showing could help neutralize those concerns and focus voters' attentions on actual policy issues. A weak performance could perhaps dampen fundraising and push former President Donald Trump ahead in the polls. Let's take a brief look at what happened when Biden and Trump met for a debate last time. Then President Donald Trump and Joe Biden debated twice during the 2020 race with their first exchange devolving into a chaotic shouting match. For the second debate, moderators said that they would mute each candidate's microphone to allow the other to speak without interruption for the first two minutes of each debate segment. The third debate was canceled after the former president, then President Trump, tested positive for COVID-19 and spent three days in a hospital. He declined to participate in a virtual event. For all the latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.